Let's find out how our fingers are doing today. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Welcome back to another video. This is the February 10th edition of our Go Practice series. Hope you're having a great day today. We're continuing on with our scales. We're at the point now of going through scale set one, but doubling up on scale types. So we're going to play two more to finish out the set in this video. And so the scales we're playing today are the half step, whole step, diminished scale and the whole tone scale. If you'd like the PDFs of these sets, if you don't have them already, then head to the links in the description box down below and you can find the free purchases over on the Airflow Music online store. We're going to get straight into these. We're going to start out with the diminished scale. This is the half step, whole step version. That's the version that you might commonly play on dominant seventh chords if you're a jazz player. Once again, as we have been, we'll be going at 132 beats a minute. The pattern of repeats is the same. We're going to repeat the scale, first time slurred, second time tongued, and repeat the arpeggio in each key three times, slurred, tongued, slurred. We're going to make four bars rest in between keys. Let's play them.
as I think I said in yesterday's video, that's the more familiar of the two diminished scales for me. So that one was quite straight ahead and I felt pretty good about how that came out. It's reasonably smooth. There's a couple of flubs with the fingers here and there, just where I got tied in knots. But other than that, it was reasonably good. And so it's good to get these back in the rotation of my daily practice and really make sure I'm concentrating on these things and getting them back up to scratch. Anyway, let's move on and play a whole tone scale. This one will follow the same pattern once again, same pattern of repeats, same tempo, 132 beats a minute, and once again, four bars rest in between keys. Let's go ahead and get these done as well. Particularly in the arpeggio portion, these whole tone scales get to be a little bit interesting. And so this is one in common with yesterday's diminished scale that I'm going to want to spend a little more time on, really getting those arpeggios in particular under my fingers. The scales aren't too bad on the whole. But also it's good to work out on the articulation at this kind of medium tempo, and get it nice and crisp before we try and move any faster. I'm interested to hear how you're getting on with these, particularly with regards to tempo. So would you welcome another run through this at the same tempo or an incrementally faster tempo? 
Or are we okay to move ahead at a decently faster tempo? What would you like to do with these? I'm all ears. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know. Other than that, that's what I have for you in this one. So I hope you've enjoyed playing your scales with me today. If you have, then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll be back with another one tomorrow. And until then, thanks very much for watching and go practice.